peeps. Hello, hello. Welcome back. We are continuing um, Ghost Trick. I believe this is chapter... No, it's not chapter 14. I don't know what chapter it is. But we have chapter whatever, and we are getting close to a finale, and it is ramping up story-wise. So let us continue, shall we? Soul, um, go have, I hope the fireworks aren't too bad. Have a good rest of your night as best as you can. Timsick Park. The site of little lady's, little lady Camilla's abduction tonight. And the place where an important piece of evidence, the music box, was hidden. Wonder why our lady detective is looking so dejected. At least she isn't dead. But what did she find? Trick time! <laughs> huh? What's he doing here? No. <laughs> Let me spend a moment's time with you, my love. The world will not end if the food delivery is a little late, la la la. A little late, it's already ice cold. Thank you. Nope, not yet. Thank you. Sorry. Now he gets it back under control. Oh, right. He says something about it. Come here. Eat! What just happened? I wasn't even pumping my feet. Hmm. The swing swings me, and I sing. And I. The swing swings me, and I sling the chicken. The swing is swung, and the chicken is slung. Everything always comes back to the chicken in the end. I'm not even gonna try to figure that one out. Moving on! Please tell me I can reach. Oh, there you are, Sissel. From your dejected, dejected expression, I gather you didn't find what you were looking for. Right, I can't find the music box anywhere. But I found something else instead. Something horrible. Horrible? What is it? There, in the grass. You'd better see for yourself. Looks like a dead body. I nearly died when I saw it. And I suppose now that we found it, we can't just leave it here, can we? Nope. I suppose not. What voice am I gonna give this? Interesting man. <sighs> Stop the park from being turned into a housing site! Protect the park! The Rock of the Gods! You there! Uh, you're talking to me, aren't you? I have some leaflets for you! Leaflets! I know! You'll be very interested in! I urge you to peruse it thoroughly. Examine it in detail! N never mind that right now. Do you remember your name? My name? My name? What does my name matter when there are more important things to worry about? Okay. Come now and study these tracks with me, my brother. Come and learn about the Rock of the Gods with me. The night is no longer young. As a matter of fact, daybreak is approaching. But we are young. 
Look, I don't have time to get involved in your way of life, but I am interested in your way of death. So let's go back to four minutes before your death. Rewind time. <laughs> oh, Aeth, I really, really want to tell you. Since I'm finishing tonight, if you stay, you will see. Very rather shortly. But I'm, I can't. Nope, no spoilers. Four minutes. And so I made up my mind. I resolved to live here in this park and defend it. Okay. And what does that have to do with this Rock of the Gods you mentioned? You still don't appear to understand! It's written very, quite clearly, in the fourth leaflet, in great detail- Fourth leaflet? Oh lord. Oh no. Excuse me, but I have to use the restroom. Eek! This is what we're going to have to work with here. I've located the target, beauty. A girl of the right age coming out of the right apartment building at the right time. Right there. Yes, my dear. I'll go ever so gent- I'll ever so gently nab her and come right back to your side. This one's fun. Good evening, young lady. Won't you come with me? Eek! Oh, gods. What do I do? What should I do? I have to do something. Ding. Flip. Bonk. <laughs> what in the world? What just happened? Oh, that's Minnow. M Minnow? Minnow, the mascot. The symbol of Tim Sick Park. Forget about the name of that big creepy lump of concrete. I'm talking about the way it changed direction. Did you see that? Yes, yes I did. We witnessed it with our own eyes. The power of the Rock of the Gods. That was the power of the gods. The power of the gods saved that little girl. And then that very same... <laughs> That same power very <laughs> deliberately crushed you instead? Yes, precisely. That is called the mischief of the, the mischief of the gods. W was the mistress was it the miss was it the mischief of the gods or was it a ghost trick? But that nah, couldn't have been a ghost trick. No ghost trick could change the direction of something that heavy in midair. But wait a minute. What if there was somebody with much greater powers? Because we now know of others. To the past! Oh, I love this character. I love... Yeah, no, we're... Excuse me. No, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait. You don't understand right now. All right. Let's uh, go check. Look at that! There's another flame besides mine! Oh! Is that the flame of a cod, is it? Uh, but hold on. Your spirit is a flame too, isn't it? Yeah, so? Oh, pardon me, but are you a god? I sincerely doubt it. At least... At the last minute, that big lump of concrete made a huge swing to one side. That was probably that flame's doing. Who could it be? 
I definitely believe, I definitely believe it is either a god or somebody god related. I, maybe I'd better try talking to this person. And weep, weep. First things first. Hello there, person. What the? This person with much greater powers th than me? It's, it's... You? Hey! Sissel! My, oh my, it's... Missile! You look well for being dead. Did you see? Did you see what I did? I did it! I tried really, really hard and I did it! I saved Miss Camilla! Are, are, are you telling me I was done in by a puppy dog? Missile, what's going on? How did you get the powers of the dead? I'm glad you asked! <laughs> After Miss Camilla went out and you left. <laughs> ah! Bang. I worked like crazy to make my own path and I did it! Faha! <laughs> Glad we didn't bang our head on the wall a thousand more times. And then I followed Miss Camilla out into the big, wide world! And then, here at this park, I found her at last! And you guessed it, I barked! You bet I did! And I went running after her, too! Bark! And run, run, run! Kithunk! And then, I guess I died! And then I was unconscious for a little while. Excuse me, we are going to change something very fast. Because, oh hell yes, Missile is back. We are going to have Missile. And when I came to, it was all over. Poor, poor Miss Camilla. Crushed under that big scary lump. Oh, what have I done? I'm so sorry, little lady. Please forgive me. Miss Camilla! I had to rescue Miss Camilla. It was up to me! I cried out from the depths of my heart. And then... Boing! I can't tell you how surprised I was, but I bet you understand, right? Better than possibly anyone else could. And I remembered what you did for me, how you saved me. So... You went back, right? to Back to four minutes before the little lady's death? You bet I did! Green. Yes, my dear, ever so gently. Nab her, blah, blah, blah. And voila. And we. And push. And death. Now it's my chance! I thought I saw the core! I don't know, it looks pretty far. I stretched out my paw towards the core. Oh, how I felt at that moment. I'd love for you to be able to feel it too! Go ahead, Sissel, go ahead and try it for yourself! Here's where things get complicated. Oh, I can't believe it. How could you connect over such a great distance? Well, they don't call me Missile for nothing! 
and so then you manipulated that minnow thing and threw it aside? Right on top of my head. Well, uh, no, actually. Mm hmm. I can't manipulate things like you can, Sizzle. You can't? Then how did you. I don't know what to. I didn't know what to do. Then it happened. Then I happened to see something out of the corner of my eye. It had a core, too! A single leaf hanging from the tree. I tried reaching out to the leaf. What in the world? I can't manipulate things. But apparently, I can swap them. As long as the two things have the same shape. S swap things with the same shape? Go ahead. Try it. Press swap. Swap. That That's incredible. And that's how you saved your mistress, isn't it? And that's how I became caught up in this, is it? I'm very sorry. My powers were too meager. Uh, meager? Because, you see, I saw one more. It ha I happened to notice one more core. There was something with the exact same shape stuck in the branches of a tree. Hey, you're right. If Minnow could be swapped again with that, then disaster wouldn't have to rain down on my head. But what is that thing? It's too big to be a leaf. Whatever it is, I'd much prefer it on my head than Min Minnow. So why didn't you swap them, Missile? I couldn't! I can stretch my far out a little further than you can, Sizzle. But it was just too far for me! I couldn't reach! I must admit, it's a fascinating spectacle of my death, if I do say so myself. Nothing normal in this death here? Nope. I kept retrying over and over and over, seeing if there was anything I could do. But there's something you can do now. Huh? If we work together, you and me. <gasps> Sizzle, you think so? I don't plan on letting anyone die in front of me tonight. Do you think you could help me? Of course! Naturally. So we're gonna drop that minnow thing in a different spot. Okay, let's try it. Let's go back again to four minutes before. <sighs> Immediately pause. I need to drink some water. All right, looks like in Streamland, everybody is tired. I no doubt any of that. It stretches all in YouTube land. I know for you it's only been um, 16 minutes, but I've been going for seven hours. Big long stream today. <clears throat> mm -hmm. All right. And let's start puzzle solving. All right, let's get started. Four minutes from now, you'll swap Minnow with the leaf, and then you'll have to swap Minnow with something else. Something with the same shape. Oh, I believe that's a rugby ball. Okay, rugby ball, huh? But with the rugby ball where it is now, Missile can't reach it. So that means I have to move it closer somehow. Looks like you and I will have to work together on that one, Missile. Okay, I'm ready! Whenever you want me to use my swap trick, just press V! That way, you'll be able to control me, and then if you press V, control will come back to me. Okay, let's try it! Together, we can stop Minnow from hurting anybody! Oh, you're still here? My manager lied to me. Sorry about that. 
still quick stretches. All right. All right. Power is key. Yep. Swap. Same shape. Anything you want me to try. Best thing to do is try a bunch of things. See how it goes. Swap. I'm going to go into ghost world for a minute. Okay. You need to be here. And I need to move you. I need to get you back here. Can you still reach? Yeah, you can still reach from there. Alright. Nope, I don't want to talk. Alright. Cancel. All right. Need to go a little farther. You can move so far. Oh my goodness. Alright, and we need to put you there for a second. Move you. Nope, you can't reach. Can we... What can I do? Dumpster lid, alright. <laughs> alright. What I want is you... Swap. And then you. And. Swap. <sighs> nope. Then. You. And swap. And then. Nope. 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 You. And then. Swap. And then... You, nope. You need to move out of the way! Nope. 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 Damn it. Hitting wrong buttons is bad! Oh, it's so heavy, I can't move it very much. Maybe it's because of the swap I made. I guess the little ball is about all the weight I can handle. <sighs> Here you come already. I swore to myself not to repeat my mistakes. M mistakes? When somebody's in trouble, you should lend them a hand. Otherwise, you'll definitely regret it. And now the recklessness of youth has taken over, giving me lightning fast speed. Um, I've been thinking. If we could stop this man from running, maybe he wouldn't get squished? It won't be easy to stop me once the recklessness of youth has taken over. And stop him, huh? Well... Cecil, why do you have such small range on everything? No, I, I should be in the... Can I get into the ball, please? Okay. No, apparently not. Missile, you were so good. Would you please? And now. And now. And now. And now. And... Nope, don't talk. want to be in that please and then back here and then uh, back here Oop. What did you think of that lightning fast pace? I wish you would knock it off. I 
that's what I think. We don't have time to prepare. I think we're gonna have to find some way to stop him from running. As fast as far as I can see, the only way to do that is use the playground equipment. The what? You know, the seesaw, the swing, those things. Precisely. Except there's no... There's one more piece of equipment, to be exact. Hmm? To stop him with... Should we think things here? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna... Fine, 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 fine. Fine, 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 fine. Uh. Pardon? So close! Alright. Alright. Well, would you look at that? Sure, a lot of whole whole lot of round things around here. Oh boy, that means it's time for me, right? Oh boy, my hair is also round. Let's see, missile jump test V. Let's see what happens. I want in there. Okay, nope. So, sorry, missile. We're gonna bop you over here. So first, boom. Nope, boom. Boom. Swap. And then... Boom. Boom. And... Am I gonna reach? Nope. Yes, yes. You're way too fast, sir. Swap. Come on. Missile, you wait there. Alright, you come here. You need to get in, damn. I don't have a lot of chances to get in there, damn it. Oh, come on! Oh, I didn't see that coming. You didn't know the first thing about the globe climber? Uh huh? Even little children treat it with the respect it deserves. They know that unless you spin it gently, there is no stopping it. Yeah, it does look pretty dangerous. It looks like I'm just destined to fly through the air like this for a while. Hmm. Just might buy us some time. Maybe it'll just keep spinning around like that for the whole four minutes. I'm sorry, but I don't think I could would stand it for that long. But anyway, at least we stopped him from running for a while. Let's see what we can do now that we have this chance. Ooh. We add... Alright, come here. was so close if you hit the ball you it could have knocked it down is that all this umbrella can be used for for knocking the rugby rugby ball down don't forget about my powers and don't forget about my recklessness of youth he's regained control all right i believe i'm out of the way Close. The umbrella won't close, will it? The ball must be in the way. Oh well, I guess we don't have to close it. Alright, that's what we need to do. Alright, am I still out of the way? Yes, let's go. Come here, you. Oh no. Oh no, I messed up.
Yes, knock, knock it down from the tree. No. Come here. No. Erp. Come here. Okay. Right. Come. All right. Nope. Come on, guys. All right. Let's see here. Uh, did I do that weird? Swap. Yeah, no, I did it wrong. Mm, sorry, guys. This is a interesting puzzle they did. All right, I need here, here, open, here. Yep, not wanting there yet. I want on that thing. Okay, can't get on that thing. Alright. Setup time. What I need is this. And that over there. No, I can't reach it. Food. Oh no, wait, that's what that's what we can do. That's right, that's right, that's right. All right. You. Swap. Yes, yes, recklessness of youth. Alright, that will do what I need. Now let's get you back over there. We are going to need you all the way over here. I... Yeah, that can reach just a little bit farther. Alright, back here. Thank you. Recklessness. Just getting in and there. Come on. Nope, alright. There. Go. They made that much better. And then he gets control of it back again. Let's go. Let's do uh, the chaos things. I have to make sure I come back here. Alright, you please swap. Alright, thank you. There! We moved it! What do you think? Hmm, with the ball there, I think I can do it! Just a few seconds, you'll swap Minnow with the leaf, and then from there, you can swap Minnow one more time. The moment is near. Missile, are you ready? You bet! Alright, come on, come on, I need you to be here now. I'm in the right person, I'm in the right person. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, we go. Three. Two. One, push, lever, now. Come on, please. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, watch me sizzle, here I go. 
Finishing touches. You can do it, missile. Swap minnow with the pole. I went too far. I went too far. I went too far. I went too far. Boing. P.S. There. How was that? My head has been spared. Truly, that was a try worthy of the gods. And now Minnow is right where he belongs. We did it again, didn't we? Didn't we? Now nobody has to die! Except for one brave little somebody. Huh? I'm talking about you, Missile. Oh, me? I guess you're right, I'm still dead, aren't I? So now let's go back and save your life. Wait a minute. Hmm? What's that? Now that I think about it, I think I want to stay dead a little longer. What? When I was alive, I couldn't even help Miss Camilla when she was in trouble. I want to be able to protect Miss Camilla! And to do that, I need these powers I have now. I see. Perfectly understandable. Even I wish I had powers like that. Hey, we just saved you. Don't wish your life away already. Oh, of course. You're right. Okay, Missile. Have it your way. By the way, Mr. Reckless Youth, there's a certain detective who needs the that music box you found. When you get back to the present time, could you give it to her? Certainly, you have my word. Let's go back then! To the present! And so, Camilla ended up in the hands of the kidnappers. We weren't able to change that part. Lynn listened to my story without saying anything. I'm sorry. I wish there was something else I could have done. No, you did the best you could. I'm sure she's alright, after all. After all, she has me! It, missile? Are, are you in there? Miss Lynn! Leave Miss Camilla to me! I know I don't look like much right now. I look like a leaf. But I'm sure I can help her! M missile. Yeek! Push! Push! Miss Lynn! No! I'm going to leave it up to Missile. It kind of looks like Missile is being whiffed up to the wind? Oh! Aren't you forgetting your promise? Oh! Pardon me, pardon me. Apologies, this is for you. Oh, what's the matter? Can't okay, cut your tongue. He's mesmerized by my beauty. Hey, cat's tongue is not- the cat is not allowed to get your tongue! Brain damage! Excuse me, but are you? No, it couldn't be. Hm? Have we met before? Aren't you? Aren't you that little girl from that time? I'll never forget it. It was ten years ago in this park. Ten years ago? Oh, hello. You know something.
We meet once again. If it isn't the power of the gods, then what else is it? Could just be coincidence. But apparently you know our little lady detective here. Why don't you tell us what happened ten years ago? Of course, of course. I was actually just about to do that. Rock of the gods. What is the rock of the gods? Don't you know? It's right there in front of us. Where Missile died. Isn't that strange? Missile. Wait a minute. You say gods? But do you mean dogs? Of course not. Don't be silly. There's no time for ridiculous word games. You are standing just above the rock of the gods now. Take a good look at that monument. Monument? Oh. Rock of the Gods. Temsek Park. The Rock of the Gods? Oh, look! The rock is buried in the ground right there. It's been there these ten years. Ever since that day, it flew down from the heavens and showed us a miracle. A miracle? So this rock you've been talking about is a meteorite? Precisely! It dropped from the sky that day ten years ago? Yes, of course. Surely you know all about it. N me Ten years ago. That day I just happened to be passing through this park. I had no idea that day would change my destiny. The sun was going down and through the gloom. I heard the scream of a little girl. Eek! Now calm down. Stay back. I'll shoot her. We know everyone in this scene, except for one person in this scene. I like what they did here. I also hate it. You guys will see it fairly soon if I finish tonight. Didn't see the face of the criminal clearly. I knew I should do something to help, but I couldn't move. The tension was so thick, it was painful, just when I couldn't stand it any longer. That's when it happened. The sky suddenly burned bluish white. When it crashed into the ground, The meteorite gave off a shower of beautiful fragments. And then I saw it. One of those beautiful fragments pierced into the criminal's back. The judgment of the gods was brought down on the park that day. Ten years ago. The little girl that that was the little girl that was you was saved by the rock of the gods oh my i can't believe it um the rock of the gods was given the name temsek and still today it lies sleeping deep in the park's earth a name we've heard a lot in this story i i never knew about this temsek I always thought Detective Jowd was the one who saved me. You were very young then. And you passed out from the shock of being taken hostage. Of course you wouldn't remember. Why did you think she'd remember? Uh. That's funny. A huge incident like that should have caused quite a stir. It's strange you'd never heard of it, Lynn. It is, isn't it? But now that I think about it... I remember I didn't want to think about what happened. I avoided the news, and I never came back to this park again. That's why I didn't know anything about it. The meteorite was named Timsik, after the name of the park, this park that it fell in. And then the Rock of the Gods was forgotten. <sighs> now, an awful thing is happening. They're talking about turning the park into a housing site. 
I'll never forget the miracle I witnessed that day. And so, I've taken up residence in this park, and I am trying to appeal to the people. Protect the park! The Rock of the Gods! That is my mission. I, I see. I'm taking you with me, Missile. So, ten years ago, the little girl that was Lynn wasn't aware of the meteorite. I get that, but Detective Joad, on the other hand, there's no way he didn't know about this Timzik thing. And if he knew, and the man died, I took his life. What was that confession of his all about? Add one to the meter, we are up to what number now? Let me just scroll up. Thirty-two! Thirty-two. Jowd is an idiot. <sighs> the rocks of the gods that fell from the sky ten years ago changed the destinies of many people's lives. Like ripples in a pond when a pebble is dropped in. With every answer I get, I learn about a new mystery. Will I be able to break the chains of mysteries before dawn? The reason he is obsessed with dawn, if you are just joining us, it is because he was told that he will cease to exist once, da once day breaks. Anyway, now that we have the evidence we need, we decided to meet up again at the minister's office. Besides, there are a few things I want to ask, Detective Jowd. We found the music box, Detective Jowd. Good job, Lynn. I knew you would. Eighth, you ready for this? Lynn can't open this. This box has not been opened in five years. There is not... I don't know if there's a lock on this box. This is a death row inmate. Does not have key. Hmm. Once everything had been resolved, I'd wanted you to give this to him. Hmm? Him? Who? You mean Inspector Cabanella, right? I don't suppose he'll ever forgive me. Detective Jowd. Now then, let's get this thing open. There's a certain knack to doing it, you know. See? He calls that a knack? Looks more like brute strength to me. Yep, that totally and completely fits in that box. Yeah. You should find scorch marks on the grip. You're ticking the counter? Go tick up the counter. <laughs> yeah, no. He's... <sighs> scorch marks? When Camilla built her contraption, she used a special kind of string. It's a kind of... It's, it's a kind of magician juice. It burns up in an instant and disappears. Why would little Camilla use something like that? I don't know. Maybe because she's a detective's daughter. <laughs> Why? People have you as their favorite character. I really like Missile. I really, really, really like Missile. Not leaving any evidence behind and all that. Ha ha ha. In the case report, there was mention of some scorch marks. Zoom! <laughs> when it happened, Camilla was watching from her hiding place. She saw the flame run to the gun, something she naturally didn't include in her design. I took the gun out of the frame and replaced it with a picture. If you remove the picture, you should 
find some scorch marks behind it on the frame, too. And those marks should match up with the ones on the gun. In other words, it proves the contraption existed there in that room that day. And it didn't work the way your little girl intended, is that right? Exactly, some cowardly culprit modified the design. But that angle was never brought up in court. So as Justice Minister, I must call off the execution at this point. The angle was never brought up in court because it wasn't a fair trial, because he just confessed and everybody said, Sure, yeah, you did it. Cool. Ah! I knew I was right. It wasn't Detective Jowd, and now we can finally prove that. Thank goodness. Thank you, Lynn. In those eyes of yours, I see... In those eyes of yours, I see... Of... I see eyes of that little girl from ten years ago. Yep, I can read. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Trick time! Hey, Jowd! Hey, you idiot. Sissel, if you hadn't come into my cell tonight, I would be gone by now, without ever having known any of this. This is what I deserve. That's what I told myself these past five years. But things are different now. Thanks to you, my eyes have finally been opened. Tonight, I've come into contact with a lot of people's lives and gotten involved in their fates. The only reason I was doing it was to regain my own lost memory. But things are different now. We're connected to each other somehow, I just know it. And that's why I need to ask you a few more questions. In order to find the truth about us. Fair enough, fire away. Dealer's choice? Camilla's con- I'm gonna start- I'm gonna end here. That contraption was a birthday surprise for Camilla's wa mother, wasn't it? That's right. Something's been bothering me about it. I feel like I know that device from somewhere. No surprise there. You lost your life to it once tonight. Be you lost your life once tonight because of that machine. All right, I knew it. See, Detective Jowd? No, I'm I'm afraid I don't see. Oh dear, <laughs> she's been dying. I told Detec Detective Jowd about it. I told him about seeing the exact same contraption tonight. In, an, in a completely different place. That's very strange indeed. Boop. Boop, boop. Okay, still good. A junkyard on the edge of town? I've never even heard of the place. And what's more, I've never told a single soul about that contraption. You haven't? That old pigeon guy. Who in the world is he? Manipulator. Sissel told me about all about it, Detective Jowd. About the manipulator. Yes, and it looks like this manipulator really did a number on the minister, too. Arg! Please don't pick on the minister. If he dies again, I'm the one that has to save him. Ugh! Sissel, do you think. Do you think that's what happened to me, too? Hmm? What are you talking about, Lynn? Don't tell me. You were manipulated, too? There was always a part of me that just couldn't believe it. That image of the one who shot me. But now I see the possibility of a new explanation. But... Who is it? And why did they do it? Temsik. Detective Jowd, you must have heard this name before. Temsik. The meteorite that fell in the park ten years ago, you were there. So you found out about that, did you? I hear that meteorite saved little Lynn's life. That's right. Couldn't do anything to help Lynn that day. But in that case, I don't get it. If it's true, doesn't it mean you didn't steal somebody's life away? What are you talking about? Detective Jowd, you told me that ten years ago, the person who killed the perpetrator in the park was you. What? But it was the meteorite! 
I wasn't lying. I stole the man's life away, no question about it. It's entirely my fault. I was just about to shoot him. I would have shot him in the next instant if the meteorite hadn't come. At that point, I was already a murderer. That's not true! You were trying to save me. Lynn, I'm sorry, but I don't think that's really it. Huh? The truth. On that day, ten years ago, a different incident happened in another place. Another place? Yes, in police headquarters. Interrogation room. The worst sort of incident. A suspect who is being questioned escaped. Wow, I didn't know about that. It, I happened to be there in the detective division. So I joined the case. chase. Fortunately, or I guess unfortunately, I was able to track him down alone in the park. Hold it right there. I'd fired a warning shot. I wanted to catch him. Bad. That warning shot made him panic. At the time, I was young. I was a young and green detective brandishing my sense of justice like a sword. I made him panic and got you involved, Lynn. It was all my fault. Detective Jowd. All I could see was my target. I couldn't even see you. I'm so sorry, Lynn. So the man who grabbed me died that day. These last ten years, I'd never forgotten his face. Then a few years after that, when my wife Alma died in such a mysterious way, I thought it was my fate, my punishment for what I'd done. I painted pictures in my cell, nothing but portraits of people's faces. All the faces of the many people I'd met in my life and didn't want to forget. And tonight, I finished my last portrait, the final face I wanted to remember. The final face. The face of the man in the park that day. Wait just one minute. That can't be. I saw that painting. The face you painted tonight... was my face. Are you telling me I was the man in the park that time? That's right. That face of yours is the face I saw ten years ago. The face of the man whose life I stole. Of the man who is pronounced dead at the scene. But hold on, Detective Jowd. That can't be true. I just met Cecil for the first time tonight. And he died right in front of me. By the way, the man, the name of that I know the man in the park that day by isn't Sissel. What? From the first minute I laid eyes on you tonight, I've been wondering who in the world is this guy? I, I. Ring! Such a fast answer. Mr. Minister. Inspector Cabanella, where are you? Just be quiet and listen. This is our demand. What? Demand? Our demand hasn't changed. The execution must be tonight. Once we've been once we've confirmed it's been carried out, we'll release the hostage. What are you talking about, Inspector Cabanella? And you know it wasn't my daughter who was abducted. Does it really matter who the hostage is? A life is a life. Even if it's the daughter of the death row prisoner. Once the criminal gets the punishment he deserves, the hostage will go free. Carry out the execution immediately and wait for our call. What is- what is it, Mr. Minister? You look paler than ever. Uh, what in the world? 
What's going on? Expector Inspector Cabanella. Oh dear. The rock of the gods that fell from the sky ten years ago twisted the fates of many people and started a chain of tragic events. And even now, the chain continues to grow ever longer. Inspector Cab Cabana Cabanella's call proved that to us. And the greatest mystery of all has ridden the surface. Who is this? Me. I've been chasing all night. Who am I? I'm even further from knowing than when I started. And the chapter's done! How's everybody holding out? So, thank everybody off in YouTube land for joining us for this chapter. Think it's just you, Aeth? That's fine. Um, so, YouTube land, be sure to take care of yourselves. Drink water, eat the foods, um, do things that make um, your life a little bit easier if you can. I will see you once we start recording again, just a little bit, because I do think I'm going to be finishing this stream and this tonight.